infertility. Another cause of infertility we'll be talking about today is anovulation. Anovulation is absence of ovulation. And you know, when there is no ovulation, there is no pregnancy. Yes. So a lot of women, they're experiencing infertility as a result of anovulation. That is, they're not releasing egg. They're not ovulating. This is why they are unable to get pregnant. What is ovulation? Ovulation is the release of mature egg from the ovaries into the fallopian tube. That day, your egg move from the ovary into the fallopian tube is your ovulation day. But there are some women who menstruate but they don't ovulate. A lot of women actually believe that when you menstruate, you ovulate. That is how it's supposed to be in women with a regular period. When you menstruate, you're supposed to ovulate. But there are women who menstruate but does not ovulate. In this video, I'll be telling you causes of anovulation. Hello everyone, you are welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, you are the right place. Please hit the subscribe button and turn on the post notification so you always get notified anytime I post an educative content here for my returning subscribers. Thank you so much. I love you guys. Today is going to be causes of anovulation. I already told you anovulation means absence of ovulation. That is when a woman is not releasing egg. And what are the causes? The first cause of anovulation that I'll be talking about today is diminished ovarian reserve. Diminished ovarian reserve. I will explain. Diminished ovarian reserve. Every girl child is born with all the eggs that is needed in a lifetime. I mean, at birth, when a girl child is being born, she has she has all the eggs she needed in her lifetime present in her ovaries already but with time there will be reduction in these eggs with time might be as a result of menstruation and ovulation and of course there are some other conditions that can affect this egg to reduce severely so when there is severe reduction in the eggs in the ovary that is, the eggs present in the ovaries are lesser than norm. That is when we say diminished ovarian reserve. When there is severe reduction in the eggs present in the ovary, this can interfere with a woman's ovulation. In fact, there will not be release an egg or there will be release of an egg, but it will be irregular. And when there is irregular, like she ovulated this month and she didn't ovulate in the next month, she might have problem in conceiving. So, diminished ovarian reserve, it's one of the causes of an ovulation. The second one is family planning. Women who are on birth control pills can have an ovulation. Maybe not all. But some of them, especially the ones that uses implant that contains levonorgestrel, yeah, they can experience an ovulation, absence of ovulation, because these hormones present in this um, implant can't interfere with the hormones that is responsible for ovulation, and thereby lead to an ovulation. The third cause of an ovulation I'll be talking about today is premature ovarian insufficiency. Premature ovarian insufficiency is when there is loss of normal functions of the ovaries. Or the ovaries cannot produce the hormones like estrogen or the ovaries does not re release egg regularly. Definitely, if the ovaries does not release eggs regularly, it will lead to an ovulation. In fact, that is an ovulation already because this is supposed to release every time you are ovulating. 
But when there is problem affecting the release of the egg, it's already an ovulation because nothing is releasing. That is number three. The number four is PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome, as well as premenopausal stage. Premenopausal stage is when a woman is approaching menopause. When a woman is approaching menopause till she reaches menopause, there is gradual videos in estrogen level till she reaches menopause. Low level of estrogen means the ovaries will not be able to release the egg regularly and that is an ovulation. The next one I'll be talking about is hormonal imbalance. When a woman has low level of luteinizing hormones and follicle stimulating hormones, this can lead to an ovulation. Luteinizing hormone is responsible for ovulation. So now when there's reduced level or decreased level of these hormones, luteinizing hormones and follicle stimulating hormones, the ovaries will not be able to release any egg. The eggs in the ovary will not get matured. And when the egg is not matured, it's not going to be released into the fallopian tube because there is low level of hormones responsible for ovulation. And that is an ovulation. Thank you very much for watching this video till the end. If you find this information very helpful, kindly like, share and drop a comment. Subscribe to my channel as well and turn on the post notification so you always get notified anytime I post a new content. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.